Hello and welcome to our Marvis video. Our topics today will be the first steps, commissioning and of course the installation of the Marvis. So I want to explain you first all the different parts which you need to fix the Marvis on a car. First we have the protective housing here. All the, with the protective, protective housing we have four screws included and of course the clamp straps. We have two magnetic fasteners and we have the magnetic bar carrier here. Also an extra part is the cigarette lighter connector here with the cable and of course the connector to connect the Morris. At the end also what is needed is the strap to fix the uh, whole, the whole um, bracket to the car. So the tools you need to install the, the holder are as followed. We need a screwdriver, something like that. We need a Torx screw holder or fastener with the size 4. And we need a wrench size 13. The distance of the two magnetic holders are depending on the vehicle you are using, on the car. Normally, the more distance you have, the more robust uh, the holder will be fixed on the car. Now, the first step will be to fix the screw and the nut to the magnetic holder. I will show you that now. Put the screw through the hole. Fix the screw with the nut. Now put the magnetic holder to the bracket and fix it with the wrench. Same thing for the second magnetic holder. Put it on the bracket, we fix it and Next step is to fix the Marvis on the protective housing. So we will put the Marvis on top. Then we will take one of the clamp straps and fix it with the screwdriver on the first side and the second side. And the same thing for the second clamp strap. So. Before fixing the protective housing with the Marvis to the magnetic holder, uh, please double check the position of your magnetic uh, fasteners here because if they are on the other side they will not fit together with the uh, protective housing. So normally it is like this and now you can start to fix the protective housing with the Marvis on the, on the uh, holder. So you use one screw, put the screw in the hole. There are four screws by the way. We have two on the upper side and um, also two on the, on the downside. You can fix it. So now we will install the magnetic holder and the Marvis on the roof of the car. So please check the position and then you can directly click the magnetic holders on the roof. Maybe for your information, do not put the magnetic holder in the middle of the road because we don't want to measure the markings, we want to measure the asphalt. So normally a little bit left or right of the roof. Connect the Marvis, the connector, we will connect the Marvis with the cable here. Then we will put the cable into the car. Now we will connect the plug, the cigarette lighter plug, with the cigarette lighter uh, socket. Put it inside and then now the Marvis is uh, powered. For a double security of the magnetic holder, we recommend to use the strap, the red strap here, with this hole. So that means we put the strap through the hole and fix the whole strap on the car so that everything is fixed and nothing can happen. So now we want, of course, to connect the Marvis, the installed Marvis on the car with the iPad app. The first step is that we need to pair the Marvis via Bluetooth to the iPad. This will be done in, under the general settings. So open the general settings here, go to the Bluetooth configuration menu, and then normally automatically the Marvis will be uh, detected. 
you have to enter the pin. The pin is 1007. Then you click on done. And normally now the Marvis should be paired. So now it's connected. You see it here, connected. Now you can close the window. We'll start the Marvis app, which we have to uh, download from the uh, iTunes store, of course, from the App Store. So we start it on the left side, in the left uh, corner at the bottom, you will see the small icon. And this icon defines that the Marvis is co uh, connected to the iPad. So, of course, the first step is that we need to configure the Marvis. So we click on this little icon here on the, on the left corner. Then we enter the central channels configuration menu and you see there are no channels. So we have to add the channels first. If you click on the small plus on the left side here at the top, then you will be asked add sensor channels. Add default sensor channels for Marvis. Yes, we want to add the default channels. So we add it and you see the default channels are now added. Row temperature, dew point temperature, water film height, ice percentage, friction and road condition. So the next step, of course, is to do the calibration. Don't forget to do, to, to do the calibration. It's very important because if not, you will get wrong values here. So you click on the I here on the, at the bottom. Then you enter the UMB devices menu and you see your Marvis with the, uh, with the serial number and everything. So you click on the small arrow here on the right side. Then you enter the configuration or let's say calibration menu. On the left side, you have different parameters which you can uh, change if you want. Normally they are okay, they are, uh, the default values are okay for the normal measurement. On the right side there is the adjustment profile menu. So we have six profiles we can add. We will now add the first one and go click on adjust. Now we are into the, over, uh, into the calibration menu here. We will enter a name. Normally we use the plate number of the car for example in this case. And then you have a small checklist where you will get information what you have to do before you do the calibration. You can check that and then you can click on override and then the calibration will start. You will be asked run calibration process and override this adjustment profile. Okay and now you see the calibration will start now. So now we are ready to, to measure. We go back to UMB devices. Again you get an information click on OK. Go back to sensor channels, you go back to Marvis. And now, after a second, because the Marvis is doing a restart now, and then we will see that it will be paired again now, and then you will get values here for the road condition, for the water film height, for the friction, road temperature, ice percent. So, on the right side we have the map, and now we are ready to start our measurement travel. So now I want to say goodbye. I hope you, ha you had some fun with this nice uh, Marvis video. And I hope to see you again for the all other next Luft videos. Thank you very much.